What is up guys, JC Asteria here, and basically what I've done, now this is kind of a really strange looking contraption, but in creative with the use of sphere generators and auto switches, you could actually create a Rocket League type course, um, and I'll just show like a ball in the center, imagine there's goals and stuff over here, and imagine this is kind of fenced in, but you could actually keep score. I was trying to figure out how to get the timing just right for it to kind of work. But you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Let me just go ahead and run you through the idea and then I'll show you how it works. So let's say we've got a ball, right? And Exocraft trying to push it into the goal. The goal, boom, score is one. Ball resets. Do that again. Get a goal. Boom. Ball resets. Score is two. You can connect those to lights. And I think you get the idea now. Um, boom. Get a goal, scored three points, game's over, blah blah blah. Unfortunately, the only thing I haven't done is figured out how to reset these in a nice way. I've played with like gravity and stuff, but for now it's just, if you want to reset the game, you got to uh, push the balls off. But anyway, let me explain how this works. So. Just so you know, uh, I've got this floor switch actually glitched onto the side of the wall. If you want to do that, it, it's real simple. Like obviously I can't place it on the side of the wall, but if you know how to glitch build, all you're going to do is just hit your D-pad to the left, and then quickly press the place button. I'm not sure what the controls are on PC, but... Do it real quick. You'll see I've got it kind of placed sideways. So I'm doing that for this. Uh, you don't have to do it that way. But let me run through the circuit uh, so you guys get an idea. Ooh, we've got a straight wire. Anyway, so we've got power. And everywhere that's going to be receiving constant power from our generator is going to be these three proximity switches up top. Now I've got those to where they're off. Um, obviously, but as soon as the sphere generator comes into view, it's going to turn those on. The other places go getting power are going to be your floor switch, and then I've got this auto switch, and I've got this here for timing. Another auto switch, and another auto switch. I, I know this looks confusing, but I'm going to try and explain it. So, as soon as the floor switch is hit, what it's going to do is it's going to send a signal into this auto switch, which actually resets the ball. And then what it's going to do is it's going to send a signal to all three of these auto switches, but here's the thing. This one isn't going to have any power yet. Right? No, no outcoming power because it needs two inputs. And this auto switch isn't going to have any power yet because it needs two inputs. So, what happens is, as soon as you hit power into this one, what it does is it creates a ball. And then, that ball is going to activate this proximity switch. From the proximity switch, it's going to then hit the modifier for this auto switch and lock in power to this switch. But because the ball is already reset, you don't have power still going here, so you can actually have a count of one. So let's run through that. I know this is like you're really nerding out on this, but. <laughs> I've been trying to kind of figure out a way to do this since the game locks in power. So right now this is what I've done. So as you can see, now that we've 
hit it, it's reset. What it's done is it's locked this one in. And now, the next time I make a goal, it's actually going to be in place long enough to turn on this one. Yeah, you get the idea. I could have put that a lot closer. So now, the next one is locked in, and I think you get the idea. Now, if someone comes up with a good way to kind of reset these, that'd be really awesome. But as of right now, this is kind of the beginning workings of what could be um, a Rocket League course on No Man's Sky. And there's a lot more you could do with this, uh, but again, these auto switches and sphere generators, they aren't in no normal mode. I'm sure they're going to come out eventually, but for now this is only something you can do in creative, but it's just showing the possibilities, right? And I'm just going to pretend I'm the ball. I could have been doing this the whole time. going to lock in that third one. So yeah, that's real quick something kind of crazy I came up with. Uh, there might be other cool uses for this. This might be how some people make clocks or, or tickers or I, I don't know the terminology, but yeah, like an actual scoreboard. Uh, you could light this up with lights, whatever. But this is the beginning of something, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you learned something, please be sure to hit that sub button. We're going crazy with kind of new ideas, seeing what we can do with the logic system. Once again, it's been JC. Catch you guys later.